was cool. Wow. <laughs> that, my friends, is an Alaskan brown bear. And look at this beautiful hide. Way to go. Wow, Preston. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Big old teeth. Good bear. Beautiful, beautiful bear. That's everything you want. Oh my gosh. Well, once again, you saw the hex effect in action, this time on a giant coastal brown bear. We've been hunting this bear for five days and he's been giving us a slip every day. But today we were able to close the distance to 16 yards. But the big thing, and you guys got to see it, that bear looked right up at us. We're completely skylined. He looked at us and turned away. And that's all we see with hex all the time. Hex blocks the electrical field that our bodies create. That field tells animals like bears if, whether they're looking at a living being or an inanimate object. Without that field, that bear didn't realize that he was looking at a bow hunter standing 16 yards away. He went around that rock and just stood there. He was just minding his own business and uh, put the arrow right where it went. But if you haven't seen the hex effect for yourself, you owe it to yourself. Get a hex system. You can layer, wear it under or over. I, I'm wearing my hex base layer today. Gloves, face net, the whole thing. But when that animal looks at you, he's not going to see you the same way. And it's going to give you an advantage that you've never had before. So try hex. You owe it to yourself. It's going to change the way you hunt. closer than 20 yards. That was about 10 yards right in front of me. This hex suit, this body concealment, I don't even think he even knew I was here. He was literally less than 20 yards away. He was 10 yards right here in front of me. Even when I drew my bow, he didn't even seem to see it or care. But he came up close. Hex suit, baby. Look at this bull, holy cow. I mean, he's got everything you want in a bull. He's got long points, super heavy bases. The bases are unbelievable down here. And uh, he's long, he's everything. He's a big, mature, as good as they get here in Oregon.
incredible. I got the hex undergarment on all the way down. I got within eight yards of that buck. If I'd wanted to shoot him with a bow, it'd be a piece of cake. But he is oblivious to it. What we're here, he looks right through us. I'm incredible. Can't say any more for it. And he's still not scared. He's just walking away. We're on straight up and down the shale rock hillside where you can't make a quiet stalk. I was able to walk right up with eight yards of a, a nice mature mule deer buck. I'm setting about 12 steps from the decoys and uh, the hex did its job. Turkey didn't have any idea I was there and uh, even after he got in, brought the gun up when he was looking at me. I messed with him, waving my hand around. He could have cared less. Had no idea that I was any place in the world and as a result, I get to take this nice old bird home with me. Buck walked in. We were, I don't know, 20 yards from him. He let me walk all the way up to 10. 
sometimes it's just unexplainable, but they just don't see you from what you are. Obviously, he was confused. He finally saw enough and eased off, but he still wasn't spooked. So. There you go. <laughs> Pretty cool. Like I said, it's a, uh, not something I recommend everybody to do. Just set out in an orange vest, but I wanted to prove that it's possible. Hey, it's my first one shotgun and my first one wearing an orange vest, but this hex is unbelievable. You saw me, I moved around, raised my shotgun right when he was looking at me, everything else, and uh, nothing to it. So anyway, we'll go, uh, go check him out. Well, we probably shouldn't have been in here anyway. The wind wasn't exactly right for it. As you could see, the doe got downwind of us and blew and kind of moved them all off. But when you have a cameraman and you sitting out in a dirt field like this, you can get away with so much with this hex on. Imagine what you can do if you don't have two of you sitting out here and you're just trying to sneak up and get one yourself.
Dad. Oh. what that's what it's all about right here sitting out in the wide open no blind no nothing and bow hunting these birds and uh being completely um just they're just oblivious to us how many have we done now where we're drawn to full draw and uh just nobody has any problem it's like <laughs> and they're still back there um but it's uh like i said he was about 18 yards and we were about this close to being a double Andy's now behind the camera for us but uh he just about got it done too. So, uh, boy, this is a stellar morning and hopefully it's not over yet. So we're gonna go try another spot. So, uh, cool deal. Look at the head on this bear. What a melon. Dang. He was probably seven steps, I think. Just a giant, giant Oregon black bear here in the spring, spot and stock the hex way. So, boy, like we always say, we put the hex on another one today.
both nice deer they're gonna eat absolutely you can't beat axis deer on the table but uh, again the special thing was of course the father-daughter deal which is always special but being that close to so many axis without mm -hmm. them having a clue in the world we were here and Caitlin just flat put the she put the smack down on them big time nothing went in any place and uh, it's about as good as bow hunting gets right there yeah. it really is so Been a pretty good year so far, I tell you what, but today was off off the chart. Um, you know, we had, my Tom came in, uh, finally, we, we played cat and mouse with several others. Uh, he came in unannounced, we just had to turn stuff on in a big hurry. Um, you know, he was under 20 yards, I got the full draw, he did defan a little, but not bad. Um, still an easy shot, and uh, but not as easy as yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, six yards on, on this one, and I mean, he didn't even have a clue we were sitting there. Yeah, uh, yeah that's the cool thing is, I mean, we are, you couldn't be in the more wide open. You don't need a blind to hunt turkeys. You just don't. You know, all bow hunters say, oh, we got to have a blind so we can get to full draw. You don't. All you have to do is block your electrical field. And that's what Hex does. Birds see electrical fields visually. It's 100% proven. When you take that electrical field away, that movement is not a living movement and a bird will pretty much ignore it. So. Uh, boy, I tell you what, I've said it before and I'll say it one more time. This hex is the biggest advantage a turkey hunter can possibly get. Whether you hunt with a shotgun or a bow, movement just doesn't matter. And uh, I'll tell you what, here's the proof right here. Two more on the ground, the hex way.
you? Yeah, me got him. He's running, hang on. Watch him, watch him, watch him. It's going down right there. Alrighty, here he is, a nice mature bird. Got pretty big spurs, a nice beard. This is my first turkey ever, and it's down here in Florida, nonetheless, with my dad, so of course it's extra special.
that not awesome? We had like seven or eight deer were right here in the wide open. And that mature buck was here for a long time. And he finally come in. I bet we sat there and watched seven, eight, nine deer right here. We had one right here, got two, three yards from me. And we let him walk off and they walked over there. He was 17, 18 yards when I shot him. And we had deer all the way to 10 yards from us. And I got a draw, had my gloves on, had everything on, got the draw and nailed him right there. What a hex moment. This bird literally gobbled after the very first call that I made and uh, he just came in on a string. I, I didn't even hardly have time to turn the cameras on. It was so fast. Um, literally, it took longer for me to set this setup up than it did for me to kill this turkey. So anyway, but you saw it. Uh, he came right in, um, get, was able to get to full draw, no problem at all. Um, and, you know, like I said, he defam for a second and fanned right back up and he was just about to fan totally up when the arrow hit him again so again this is what hex is all about right out in the open um you know you don't need a blind you don't need that kind of stuff if you're a bow hunter hex makes bow hunting deadly for turkeys and it's not a pain like it is with normally using blinds and stuff just go out set up get a little back cover like i have there and these birds come in you do not have to worry about them uh, you know when you get to full draw you can do it anytime you want. You'll get away with it every time. We've been doing this for 11 years now, and I am out on public land today, so this is not farm birds. I, I look at all the comments online, and it just makes me chuckle because, you know, guys, oh, those are farm birds, or you can't do that on birds where I live. Well, guess what? You can. We've done this on birds in every state of the union. There's been thousands of birds killed this way now. Um, the thing is, is when you take your electrical field away, you're, you can get away with movement. When the movement does not have an electrical field, birds do not see it as living. Remember, birds see electrical fields visually, it's 100% proven. Take the electrical field away from your movement and you can get away with a lot more than you ever thought possible. So. Will Hex help me get away with more movement in the turkey woods? You tell me. Hex. Yes, it really works. Well, we're uh, pushing the envelope a bit on this goose hunting. 
We actually have six live geese sitting in these decoys right now, and as you can see, I'm right in the open, but uh, so far so good. This has been pretty cool. We're a little ways away from the uh, shooting time. They don't let us start here until eight o'clock in the morning, so we've already had a big bunch come in. Like I said, there's a total six sitting in the decoys right now, so, and obviously they aren't paying any attention. So. And I'm gonna try something, just see what we can do here. That was a lot of fun. We wanted to test and see what the hex would do with geese. You know what we've seen with turkeys, you know, we can get away with a lot. And uh, obviously we had those geese, first off they lit with me sitting around in the open. Um, and I decided to just see what we could do, so I crawled all the way out. I was probably three or four foot, feet from that goose. Um, my goal was to actually grab him, but uh, he didn't let me get quite that close. But still, it was a lot of fun, and it really did. It showed what, what our stuff can, what our stuff can do. So, uh, anyway, we're going to sit back up, and uh, the next ones that come in, we're going to uh, knock some feathers out of them. So, it's a lot of fun. Did you know that scientists found a specialized molecule in a bird's eye that allows them to see the Earth's electromagnetic field visually? The EM field given off by all living beings is very similar to the field given off by the Earth, which led researchers to the revelation that birds can actually see the electrical field that is emitted by living beings and helps them to tell living beings and movement from inanimate ones. Another mature male. Big old dog, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nice. Well, end with a double. That's a good thing.
moment right there, <laughs> about 10 yards. And uh, boy, I tell you what, he was right there. Oh, what a deal. 